I grew up on a farm in Wisconsin. We grew apples and cherries. And uh, I didn't know that I was ever going to be back on the farm uh, professionally. But this is not Matt Barnard's family farm or anything else that resembles soil and sun. This is Plenty, a fully automated indoor farm creating crops from seedlings to harvest to packaging using groundbreaking technology for growing plants vertically in water. The goal when founding Plenty was can we design and develop a farm that is more water efficient, that's more land efficient, and most importantly, makes those choices the choices that people want. The facility housed in a San Francisco industrial park currently grows enough greens to supply more than 100 grocery stores. Out in the field, what happens is those minerals get spread as fertilizer over the soil, and at Plenty, all we do is we dissolve those nutrients in the water. We can take something the size of a football stadium and turn that into something that's the equivalent of many hundreds of acres out in the field. Matt created Plenty after years of working in telecommunications. And then I started to follow my passions. I focused on investing in water technology companies to try to help solve the stresses on the water system. And during that time, I learned that agriculture accounts for 70 to 80% of all water consumption on the planet. In a plenty farm, we use 95 to 99% less water than is used in a field on the same crops. Plants start as normal seeds, spending 10 days in the grow room, processed at 200 plants per minute. Our goal is for plants to get to people's home and have the first time those plants have been touched be the, the, the person who's going to eat them. Since the plants are grown in a sterile environment, no need for pesticides or genetic modification. Here we have a, a mixture called Velvet Spice. Chef Anthony Secviar is an advisor at Plenty and uses the produce in his Palo Alto restaurant. It comes into our restaurant immaculate and ready to serve, so we don't have to put it through the process of water, drying, manipulation with hands. Matt says the difference between a Plenty product and other traditionally farmed produce? Taste. We're going to finish this with some purslane, which will give it a nice succulent texture. Created with the farm's unique methods for manipulating climate conditions that fruits and vegetables like to grow in. The biggest thing is flavor. Every day we test what comes out of the farm, we, we eat it, we have people trained on how to uh, evaluate how food tastes. We get rid of uh, things that cause people to stop eating after a couple bites, like that cloying bitterness in a kale or in many other leafy greens. According to Matt, the future of farming is already here. There are 500 communities around the world with a million or more people. Uh, uh, we want to start there. <laughs> what we know is that people want to eat more fruits and vegetables if only they love them.